What's up everybody, my name is Shadow Phoenix. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Planet Coaster. It's been a while. Uh, sorry there wasn't a King's Falls episode on the weekend. Um, and I don't think I had one the weekend before that either. But I've been just kind of uh, busy being depressed, I guess. <laughs> uh, also just out kind of trying to find a job and just trying to figure out what, what to do with my life, I guess you could say at this point. Um, I would much rather keep doing videos and stuff on a daily basis. Uh, I'm trying to get back into that. We're, we're two days in a row of videos, so we got that going for us. Uh, should have some more up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'm just, I'm not going to be able to keep it up because I've got no Patreons. I'm not making enough on YouTube videos. I'm not making enough on Twitch to really, to do my dream job of just making videos and stuff and, and enjoying what I'm doing here. Um, so I, I gotta try to find something else, but well, let's kind of see what happens with that. In the meantime, let's talk about what we're doing today. It is Tuesday, which means it's Planet Coaster Quick Builds, and today I'm building uh, something that was kind of announced over the weekend, uh, not over the weekend, it was actually announced about, uh, well, sometime this month, anyway. Um, there is going to be, Worlds of Fun is building a restaurant for next season, very similar to the one that Kings Island built this year, the Coney Island Barbecue, which was Kings Island's newest attraction this year. Not really an attraction, more of a restaurant. Uh, looks delicious though, uh, I will say that. It's not a ride or anything, which was kind of puzzling why they didn't have anything this year. Seems like they could have done, like they just announced the, um, the antique cars are coming back. So it seems to me that they could have done the antique cars this year and the Coney Island Barbecue, both at the same time, but I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on there with that, but uh, yeah, so this year we got the Coney Island Barbecue, and next year, Worlds of Fun is getting the Boathouse Restaurant. Uh, oh no, the Boathouse Grill, that's what it's called. And I've noticed something about the Boathouse Grill. The design is the exact same design for the Coney Island Barbecue. So, for today's episode of Planko Quick Builds, I decided let's build that. Uh, by that, I mean both buildings. <laughs> I just, I left the name off of it. Since they're pretty much exactly the same, it wasn't a huge thing. Uh, you can also change the color and stuff on this as well. Uh, the biggest thing about this build, the, probably the hardest part, the thing that took the longest, was this little clock right here that I'm building, as well as I did a custom roof on top of the clock. And that took the longest of the entire build. The rest of it was fairly simple coming together. Um, I did have maybe a little bit of trouble trying to figure out the size of it because I was working off concept art and I only had some photos, just very small photos to work with from Kings Island on that one. Um, but yeah, in the process of working on this though, I noticed something. So I think it was 1.72 or 1.7, one of them, um, they fixed the problems with the uh, some of the stuff being not colored right and while I was working on this and I put this clock on there uh, the station clock I noticed um, the hands don't seem right like they look right there sort of but they I don't know they're still kind of a whitish color and yeah I, I know in this video they don't look right but um, I, I did a photo and I tweeted over to Sam Denny and asked him to take a look at it I would post the bug on the Planet Coaster forums but let's be honest, they don't pay a damn attention to anything on those bug things anyway. In fact, half the time when you tell them there's a bug, they don't even want to listen to you. Uh, hence the reason why I have been banned yet again from the Planet Coaster forums because apparently I was harassing the, the staff. Uh, by harassing the staff, do they mean by posting a bug and them saying that's not a bug and me and a bunch of other people saying yes, it is a bug? And then, yeah, so this is the same kind of thing that happened before. I argued with them for over a year about there being an autosave issue with Planet Coaster. That the game doesn't autosave, uh, you lose hours of work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Some people have gone and, you know, some people have said, oh, well, I don't ever have this problem. But others, you know, others are having this problem. And it's something that we have discussed on my Twitch channel and things like that. And I have been trying to get them to realize that there was a, a problem with this for I don't know how long. And 
they kept saying, oh, well, nobody else has pointed this out. Uh, maybe it's a problem with your computer. Maybe, you know, blah, blah, blah. Finally, they actually admitted, okay, yes, this is a bug. We're going to look into this. It still hasn't been fixed yet, but at least they admitted that there is a bug. So it took a year or at least six or eight months before they finally realized that there was a problem after me telling them all this, right? So I had to argue with them for over eight months at least that there was a problem with the autosave system before they finally realized it. So I post another bug about there being an issue with the sound being uh, kind of a problem. And I've been arguing with this and over with them for a while too, trying to get this fixed. And it, they did kind of fix it, but not. Uh, like if you do a custom sound trigger with custom music, the custom music that you have outside or the custom sound that you create outside of the game works perfectly fine. But like it, you can hear it perfectly well. You know, the sound is, the audio is perfect. And then you put it into the game and you can't hear a damn thing. You gotta turn the sound effects all the way up. Even if you put it all the way up to 100, it's still barely audible. And it shouldn't be like that. So this is a bug. And other people have told them this is a bug. I was the first one to tell them and they passed it off. Oh, this isn't a bug, this is a suggestion. I'm like, this isn't a suggestion. This is a bug. So I reposted it and they're like, don't repost this again. And I'm like, but it's a bug. So then I tweeted it out. I got Sam Danny on it. I got Bo on it. And then Bo posted, oh yeah, well, this has been listed as a suggestion instead of a bug. So, you know, it don't argue with how we, we say things. But it's a bug. And let me tell you what, I am going to argue with you about it. It's a bug. It's a damn bug. If you don't want to fix your damn game, then well, then that's your problem. But, you know, that's what the Planet Coaster forums are there for. And here's something else. Here's the thing. So back when I were, was arguing with a bunch of people and stuff over a bunch of things, uh, during the time that, you know, Planet Coaster was like, oh, I'm too negative and everything. So, you know, and I got into it with some other people in the community and things like that because they thought I was just being too too much of a pain in the ass because I was just telling things the way they are, basically. Um, and they're like, oh, you're trying to be the bad boy Planko. No, I'm just trying to get people to realize that there are problems with the game. That's what I'm trying to do. And <clears throat> yeah, so it seems like Planet Coaster and, and Frontier, they only want to hear the good. They don't want to hear anything about the bad. And now it's getting to the point where they don't even want to hear about bugs because they don't want to deal with fixing them. There's a guy on the Planet Coaster forums called QA Mark who is just a pain. He doesn't he doesn't do anything except copy and paste things half the time. Uh, okay, we're gonna look into this. We're gonna look into this. Well, this is I, I forwarded this to the devs. Blah blah blah. That's all he ever does. He just copies and pastes stuff. And um, you know, he's I've had more than one argument with this guy over over things like this. And he's the one that said, "Oh, this isn't a bug. This is a suggestion." And yeah, so there's also somebody else on the Planet Coaster forums who I do not get along with very well, and that is Joel. So here's the thing about the Planet Coaster forums, though. Again, they only want to hear the good. If you don't have anything good at all to say about it, then they don't want to hear it. It's plain and simple as that. Uh, you got other people on there, so if you do try to say anything bad about the game or try to point out things about the game that you know need to be fixed or anything like that, you're going to be crushed by the Planet Coaster fanboys on there. Now you may think, wait a minute, I am a YouTube creator that makes a ton of Planet Coaster stuff and this is what you guys watch me for, right, is my Planet Coaster stuff. I'm not an idiot. You guys don't hardly watch me for my other stuff. You may watch some of my other stuff, but the reason you subscribe to my channel, most of you, is for my Planet Coaster stuff. So you may say, well, that makes you a Planet Coaster fanboy. No, it doesn't because I, I have a ton of hours in this game. And therefore, I see a lot of issues and stuff. And the problem is when I point out these issues, Frontier doesn't want to pay attention to them, no matter what. And the again, you try to say these things like that, and you just get ridiculed and called a troll and everything else on the Planet Coaster Forbes. And here's the thing. The mods won't say anything to anybody who does this. I'm talking about anything to anybody who says who calls people who complain trolls and stuff. They don't, they're, they're perfectly fine with that. But if you try to argue the fact 
that you're being called a troll just for, you know, trying to say your peace of mind on the game. Oh, well, suddenly you're harassing the staff. Suddenly you're causing problems. Uh, suddenly you get banned, you know, it's or you get infractions and stuff for like uh, moderation or something like um, I forgot what they called it. Just because I told somebody, hey, you know, why don't you just be quiet? And let if we want to say our piece about the game, then let us say our piece about the game. If you don't want to be included in this conversation, then go to another thread. It's the same thing as like, and this is exactly what I said, and I, I got an infraction over this too. I said, if you do not want to watch a TV show, do you still watch that TV show? No. If you're all you're gonna do is complain about the TV show, then don't watch the TV show. So it's the same thing. If you don't want to hear some of us saying our piece about the game and saying what we think needs to be fixed and, and this and that and our opinions on things well then just don't pay attention to that thread you don't have to stick your nose in there and say oh here comes the whiners again here comes the complainers here comes the trolls you know, we're not we're not trolling them i mean yeah there are some stuff on there that people are asking for and they keep asking for that is just I admit, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, like this game being on console, um, you know, and other stuff like that. But there are things that can be fixed. There are problems with the game, and people don't want to listen to it, and Frontier doesn't want to listen to it. So, <laughs> um, this entire video is just going to turn into one of my rants, because this is what I wanted to say, and I've been wanting to say this for a while, and that's kind of how it is. Plus, I didn't have a whole lot to actually say about what I was doing on screen. Um, <laughs> but I you know I mean I've just been creating you know you guys see the picture I'm creating what's in the picture I'm creating what's in the photo I'm creating something in front that's in real life and turn it into something in Planko that you guys can use that you guys can go and download on my Steam Workshop as of right now as soon as you're watching this video oh and this is something else people keep asking me hey can I download this yes yes you can download it I've said it five times in the video <laughs> that it's downloadable. The link is in the description. I swear sometimes people just have me on mute or something and don't actually listen to anything I'm saying or, or pay attention or maybe skip through the video. I don't know. But or they don't even read the video description either. I get some weird questions sometimes from people that I have already answered a blue million times. And I, I just got another... <laughs> I, I've got to point you out, dude. I'm sorry, but I am going to point this out because, yeah. I keep getting a question. Will I build a BA Schiff Wild Mouse? The answer, as I've told you multiple times, is no. I'm not going to build a BA Schiff Wild Mouse. In fact, I actually saw a BA Schiff, or somebody listed as a BA Schiff Wild Mouse on the workshop the other day. So go check that out. Uh, it was literally on the front page. So... Sorry, Zach. I, I'm not going to do it. I, I don't know why you keep asking me, but it, it's not going to happen. So, <laughs> um, I do have a, something else I am going to start a recreation of here very soon, though. Um, I just saw Coney Island in New York. Uh, they just announced their newest stuff for the, like, the year 2020 and further and before that. And one of them is this really cool log flume that I'm going to try to recreate in Planko. So that could be a new series here probably next week. Um, but in the meantime, we are almost here at the, the end of the video. So um, what you guys have just seen me do there in the last little bit was working on a custom roof for the clock tower right there that goes on top of this. Now I'm pretty sure I got the colors right and I got everything else as close as I could get using the in-game items and stuff that we have in the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, sorry about my rant. I'm sorry if I uh, pissed anybody off about my opinions and stuff. Well, it's actually not even my opinions. This is true facts about the Planet Coaster forums, whether people want to admit to it or not. Uh, it's a horrible place. I'm banned right now, and even when I get unbanned, I'm never going back. If I see a bug in the game, I'm just going to tweet it to Sam Denny, because it seems to me that's the only way anything gets done anyway, because QA Mark isn't doing his job. Even though he says he's forwarding the stuff, when people are going to be like, hey, is this, you know, people have literally have asked about problems with the game and have been told by the devs, we haven't heard about this. Or they have tweeted to Sam Denny and Sam Denny's like, I haven't heard anything about this. But yet, QA Mark said that he did his job. So, in my personal opinion, and I'm going to say this again, if you've got a QA team who isn't doing their job, maybe you need to get rid of that QA team frontier because... That's just how things are, I think should be. Uh, they're not doing their job. 
It's as plain and simple as that. But then again, I guess you guys don't want to hear it anyway. So, since, you know, that's just how the Planet Coaster forums are. So, basically, the entire Planet Coaster forums, what I'm saying is, is just completely toxic and it's pointless. And uh, let me tell you guys, I'm working on something again. I started working on this a little while ago, but I never got finished with it. So, I'm going to restart back on that and I'm, I'm trying to create a community so more news about that probably next week in the meantime that's the end of the video so wherever you guys are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening and good night thanks for watching thanks for listening to me and sorry about my rant for this episode but i i just i had things in my chest and i had to get them out i'll see you guys later